six-month deficit more than 10 inches, putting it in the top five all-time driest October through early April periods in Austin. And that's 155 years of weather records we're talking there. Uh, Lake Buchanan, uh, three feet below average. Lake Travis, eight feet below average, dropping a little bit uh, every day out there at Travis. But, you know, overall, in the overall scheme of things, we're looking pretty good uh, thanks to the lakes being refilled before this latest drought uh, got going uh, last year after Tropical Storm Hermine ended. Well, tonight, and we're going to talk more about this uh, series of dry cold fronts that keep uh, passing us by with rainfall in just a minute. Out there tonight, uh, we're clear. Um, our tower camera's up at 700 feet, and it's kind of bouncing around. Uh, that tells me that a low-level jet stream is getting uh, organized, which will be transporting in Gulf moisture to the point that I bet by morning we have some low clouds already, and certainly it'll be warmer overnight as a result. 66 degrees out there right now. I think we only fall to 50 in the morning here in the city, about 10 degrees warmer than it was last night in town. Last night we saw some freezing temperatures in parts of the hill country, mainly creek bottoms, but the Llano Airport, the Gillespie County Airport, both started the day at 32 uh, this morning, as did uh, Barton Creek uh, out uh, in Oak Hill. 73 at noon and 83 tomorrow afternoon at 5 p.m., so our warming trend is already underway. Right now, upper 50s and low 60s across the area, mid-60s still here in the city at 66, clear, 19% humid out there, uh, 55 at ABIA. That humidity is going to be rising soon, though, when you get that south wind going, and we have it at 7 miles per hour down near the surface tonight. Uh, you oak allergy sufferers, I am feeling for you because it just is not getting any better. I think this is the third straight week that we've seen counts that have been borderline or into the very high category. It's just not changing. Will is also high, and we're not expecting any improvement tomorrow. Around the state, almost everybody in the 60s, it's a pretty mild night across Texas after the cold morning this morning. Skies are clear. That front that brought... Uh, well, the eight fatalities to the deep south uh, has pushed off now into uh, the Atlantic, being replaced by a ridge of high pressure. We've seen this frequently here. That'll mean warming and dry weather right on into the weekend. Our next storm system getting organized now up off the Alaska coast. It'll arrive on Sunday, but it looks to be also a quick moving, uh, put down a little bit of rain, mostly dry cold front, like the last 10 in a row. We have had 10 rain-making cold fronts since February 1, and when you look at the rain they've given us, two hundredths yesterday, one hundredth on March 29th, the 14th, the hundredth, uh, the most was two-tenths of an inch back on February 9th. That's pathetic. All right, uh, overnight tonight, no 20s. We saw some 29s last night. Uh, no 30s, everybody in the 40s to low 50s in the city. So we're headed up. And tomorrow we're headed up into the low to mid 80s. And then beyond that, even higher. Uh, tonight, low clouds coming in, a 50-degree low to start the day in the morning, a high of 83, and partly cloudy tomorrow afternoon. And then uh, Thursday, warm in the morning, very warm in the afternoon. Friday, very warm in the morning, near 70. Very warm in the afternoon, near 90. Morning low clouds, patchy fog, patchy drizzle through the weekend. That next little system I told you about with that slight chance of rain, maybe a thunderstorm, on Sunday. Tomorrow morning on Austin News Today, the latest on the weather and traffic together every 10 minutes starting at 5 a.m.